We're now speaking with Mr. Fred Cromer, who is President of Commercial Aircraft at Bombardier. Mr. Cromer, Fred, thank, yes. you, very much. thank you very much for speaking with me. Oh, absolutely. Welcome, I guess, to your new gig. Thank you very much. Let, uh, maybe we could start off by you sharing with us a little bit about the new team sure. and uh, what we can expect going forward. So, you know, just a couple of comments on that. As, as I mentioned, this is week number four on the job, so I'll, I'll give you sort of some a high-level view of kind of my perspective coming in. Uh, I think the family of aircraft that Bombardier has is an exceptionally uh, great family of aircraft to fit a bunch of different needs. There's been tremendous focus, obviously, on the C-Series because it's new technology, brand new airplane, very exciting. But we also have, you know, a tremendous number of CRJ customers as well as Q400 customers. So for me, coming in as, as kind of the new guy, kind of continuing what's already been put in place on the C-Series, and now that we have momentum with being 70% of the way into the certification uh, process and really 55% of the way into the flight test program, we can say with confidence that we're going to deliver the airplane that we said we were going to deliver when it was designed. So now it's really about re-energizing, reintroducing the marketplace, using the, the contacts that I have, that our new Senior Vice President, Colin Bowl who's day two on the job today here at the RAA. So, uh, you know, kind of leveraging those connections, including what the connections that Bombardier, the, the team they already have, is, is really sort of going to continue that momentum. It's great to see the airplane flying. We're going to have it in Paris, uh, both on static display and flying. So, again, just fueling that excitement around the C-Series. But we can't ignore the CRJ and the, the incredible customer base we have on the CRJ family of airplanes, as well as the Q4. You mentioned Paris and uh, taking the, the, the C-Series. Can you give us an idea of what you're going to bring with you? So uh, we've got two airplanes coming to Paris. We'll have a 100 on static display, painted in Swiss International Airlines livery. It's a very exciting announcement we had last week where we announced that Swiss Airlines is going to be the launch operator. Not only the launch customer with Lufthansa, but now the launch operator. So for us, that's incredibly exciting and, and very big news for us in the first half of 2016. Very sophisticated operator, uh, and that's just really going to be a, a big success for us as the airplane enters into service. Um, so that's that's news that we announced last week. The plane will be painted in their livery, and then we'll have the uh, the flight test vehicle, the CS300, doing the uh, the flight demos. So two airplanes, two C series, uh, two C series. Also on static display, we'll have a CRJ1000. And then we'll also have a Q400 there as well. So really showcasing the family of aircraft that we produce at Bombardier. Without without telegraphing too much, or should we have high expectations for Bombardier at the show? You know the uh, the issue there is sort of just jumping into the middle of this. Negotiations are going to take whatever time they take. Obviously, everybody puts uh, a lot of pressure in trying to wrap up those negotiations to have announcement of Paris. We'll see if we can make that happen, but I still feel like the momentum going into the air show with having the aircraft specifically on display, as well as maybe a couple of announcements, sort of sets the stage for the future of, of what we're trying to get done at Bombardier. Thank you, and look forward to seeing you in Paris. All right, thank you very much.